Hello everybody and welcome to the first in a series of videos about graph data science. In this video we're going to introduce graph data science and compare and contrast it with traditional data science approaches. Uh, so it helps to start off with defining what data science actually is. So there are lots of different uh, definitions that we can use but for the purpose of this video we're going to be working on the uh, definition that data scientists are using data to try and answer some questions or explain some outcomes and there could be lots of different ways that they could do this there's no specific one way that's the correct way so perhaps we're loading data into pandas and doing some descriptive statistics uh, or equally we could be doing some sort of visualization approach by loading the data into a tool like matplotlib perhaps uh, or equally we could be building a machine learning model using scikit-learn uh, now graph data science is similar um, but instead of using just data and often flat or tabular data uh, we're going to use relationships to try and answer questions and again it's a similar to data science we've got a toolbox uh, of approaches that we can use and they could be uh, using something like graph visualization where we're taking data in a graph and trying to look at it and visually inspect it and see if we can find something out that way uh, or maybe we're doing some exploration of the data by writing a graph query or we could even be feeding the result of that graph, graph query into a machine learning model as an engineered feature uh, um, or finally, we could be using a graph algorithms approach if we want to find out something across the whole graph. Um, and then again, we could just use that as part of an analytics approach, or we could feed that in as a feature as well. Uh, and so generally, graph analytics approaches fit across this spectrum of local uh, pattern-based approaches to global computation approaches. Uh, with the local one, we know what we're looking for, and we're trying to make some sort of decision, but we need the query to help us work out what that decision should be. And so we might be working on a, a, a very narrow part of the graph. Whereas over to the right hand side where we've got the graph algorithms approach, we maybe don't know what we're looking for, but we're trying to understand the, the overall structure of the network, like tell me what clusters are in there or what, who are the important nodes in this graph. Um, and we're sort of doing more of a global analysis. Uh, and so that's the end of our introduc introduction to graph data science. In the next video, we're gonna learn about the applications of graph data science.